Hi everyone, and in this video we're going to take a look at markup technology within Revit. Many people are still manually printing out drawings and then physically marking up those drawings and then passing those markup drawings back to the technician or the Revit team and then the Revit team are making amendments based on those um, paper copies of the markups. So what we're going to do here is look at a process that's more aligned with BIM and digital engineering. What we're going to do here is look at DWF technology and how we can use a free piece of software called Autodesk Design Review to make those redline markups and changes. So the first thing we'll do, here we are in Revit 2019, and we'll look at how we can publish the DWF files in a batch. So here I'm going to go to File, Export, DWF, DWFX. So here in the DWF settings, what we can do is we have various different sheet sets that we could uh, batch export out. So I could batch export an engineering sheet set or, for example, an architectural sheet set. Another thing I can do here, if I go to a current sheet, then you can see I can just export one sheet if I want. In this case, I'm going to go to engineering. I'm going to accept all of these sheets here. And what we're going to do is we're going to publish these out with automatic naming. And I have the option of combining all the sheets into a single DWF file. So I'm going to do that and go ahead and publish this. So now that the DWF files are published now, I'm just going to start up Design Review. So here we are, Autodesk Design Review. Um, this is currently in the 2013 uh, format. Um, I ha they haven't actually updated it, but it's absolutely fine. It's, it's free of charge. We can download it. We can use it. So let's go ahead and open up that DWF file that we've just published, yeah, which would be this one um, just in here. Click Open. And as I've said, this is a multi-sheet DWF. I could have published them out as single sheets, but this is a multi-sheet here. If we go to list view over here, you can see that I can actually then individually open up each uh, sheet and view the changes in the sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off to um, this sheet in here and we'll start to uh, produce a markup on here. So it might be that we want to uh, make a change to the balcony connector over here. So if I go to the markup and measure ribbon over here, you can see that we have all sorts of different marking up tools. So I'm going to start off with uh, a rectangular cloud. Okay, and we'll just um, mark this up. I can choose various different colors that I want to use. So let's put a cloud around that. And we'll also um, put some clouds around the plane uh, of the balcony connectors as well. So we'd have a mark up in there and a mark up in there. Now, if I click on the markups tab, you can see that um, Design Review is now showing you each of these markups. So as I click through them, you can see that it then zooms to the relevant markup on here. So if I go to Cloud 1, you can see I can change the label on this. So I'm going to type in here uh, Balcony uh, Connector, like so. And then I can put in some notes in here. So it might be that I want to use perhaps uh, an Encon uh, product. So in here, we'll say uh, change to Ancon Balcony Connector. Yeah. Okay. We can then obviously pick on this one here. We can do very similar things. So this is going to be B1 for Balcony 1, and this will be Balcony 2. Yeah. And here I'm going to put another note in. Uh, check to see if Ancon products will be suitable. Okay, so that's my markups made to that sheet. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and save this. So I can just uh, overwrite the DWF file that I've just created. So there it is. And what I'm now going to do is link this back into Revit. So we'll switch back across into Revit. Now I'm going to go to the insert ribbon and you can see here that we have DWF markup. If I select this, I can choose my DWF file. So that's this one here and open. OK, so now that the file is uh, linked in, you can see here that we've only marked up one sheet. If I'd marked up several sheets, I'd see them in this view here. So this is the one I want to uh, link in. And if I say OK, you can now see that Revit automatically overlays um, all of these markups. So 
let's go ahead and select one of the markups and you can see in here that we can actually then start to read off all of the notes in here so let's now assume I've made the change so I could now say that's been done and I can put in my own notes um, so I'll add this in here and con products uh, changed and say OK there and we can come down uh, to this markup in here so again we can read all of the history uh, and see what's going on here and again I could add my own notes in I could say um, B2 uh, Ancon product uh, not suitable okay and again I can mark that up as um, for review yeah so this one here is going to be done this one here is for review so once we've done that, we can then uh, re-save or re-export out the DWF file. So if I go to File, Export, uh, DWF, uh, this time here, we're just going to do the, the current sheet over here. Okay, I'm going to um, save this one out. I'm going to manually name it this time. So let's do this. And I'll say um, uh, Markup for Review and Save. So while that's saving, I'll start up uh, Design Review once again. And we'll then link that file in or open that file up. So we go to Open, um, Markup for Review. Okay, we'll go ahead and open this file. And you can now see that we have the list of uh, markups in here. And you can actually see my comments as well. So you can see here, this one is for review, this one's done. So if I click on this balcony connector here, you can see that we've got the history of what's actually happened. And you can see in here that I've got my notes that I've made in Revit that I can actually view here. If I go to the B2 balcony down here, that again highlights that. And if we look at that change in here, I can see here, uh, Ancom products are not suitable. Yep. So product not suitable. Okay, now what we can actually do with that, we can come along and we can save out basically all of those markups as a summary. So if we do that, we'll save this onto the desktop. And if I go ahead and take a look at that CSV file, let's just open that in Excel perhaps. You can now see that I've got um, a history of all those markups and exactly what's happened. Okay, so as well as being able to mark up and, and, and those sort of things, you can see here where I've got uh, tools that would allow me to make measurements uh, across the model. So I can obviously um, check dimensions and so on. I can stamp the model. So in here, I could um, come along here and say that this particular uh, file has been rejected in here. Obviously, it, it gives me a date and time stamp in here. I can put comments in if I want to. On that and so on so overall a much better way of marking up and checking drawings it kind of falls in line more with digital engineering which is what we're trying to promote okay hope that's been useful thank you very much